Hey everybody, welcome back to K&K &K Crochet. I'm KK. I'm Kristen. And we are here today to do another All the Buzz About the Crocheted Hats. And so today we have a hat in two different colorways. And actually it's in two different renditions, I guess you could say. So I'm going to show you mine first and tell you that mine is not what it's supposed to be user error it's not what it's supposed to be so this is the hat this is by a tutorial by spring the fiber enthusiast this is mine I love these colors together this is exactly the colorways that she used on hers I love this pattern it was so awesome it just looks so beautiful I love it so much but they're supposed to be um, some oh, like that I love that this reminded me if you did this in um, right colors you can make eyeball hat it's so cute Ooh, yeah. but I love it it's so pretty I love the colors together I love the gray black and red and I just did that um it, it had to be three colors so I just used what she did it, uh, it's what I had handy and ready to go and I didn't have to think about color choices I love when you get a pattern and they've already picked color choices that are beautiful and you don't have to worry about picking them because a lot of times I struggle with picking the colors that go well together that will look well uh, together especially if it's more than two you can always put white with something or black or gray right with another color but when you get three colors together sometimes I question myself so I was glad she had already done that and she put these three together and these were in my tote ready to go already so I thought well I'll just grab those and it was um, some scrap yarn the gray was scrap yarn that I had left over from my sun bunny so there was plenty of it to do this and that helped me use up scraps as well. And I think the red was scrapped too. I'm not sure. So this was my version. But my version doesn't have everything it's supposed to have. By the way, super, super easy, quick hat. Um, I like it a lot. It's, um, you know, very stretchy and very pretty. So I like this one. This is going to be for um, a uh, young child. And so now I'm going to let Kristen show you what she did. Because she did what you're supposed to do. This is mine. Ooh, trying to show you all, all the way around. And this is the same hat. I just did the um, surface crochet. Yeah. And that was the first time me actually doing surface crochet. And I liked it. And she chose a red heart, cherry red, red heart black, and what's the blue? Royal? Red heart royal, yes. Okay, and mine was Red Heart, Heather Gray, Red Heart Cherry Red, Red Heart Black. Now, see the difference? See what mine doesn't have? Mine not, I'm not holding mine right Mine does not have the surface crochet, and that's because I can't surface crochet a straight line to save my I life. Can't either. If you look close, they're not. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Yeah, I couldn't get mine to go straight for nothing. I don't know what's the matter again fidgety areas you know my fingers and stuff trying to get it but then I thought well I tried it and I put it down I thought I'll go back and try again later and then when Kristen did hers I thought I really like mine like this I'm gonna leave it like this and then show Kristen's how it's supposed to be because I like hers too and um it just goes to show you know we all like different things we all do different things I love this but I can't do this and honestly it looks like okay go ahead Honestly, I kind of thought maybe I could talk Kristen into finishing mine and doing the surface crochet for me. It, it really looks like plaid. Yes, that's what she said. Buffalo plaid. That's what she was hoping that people would see when they looked at it. And this is called, <clears throat> first of all, I don't think we said, this is a pattern by Spring, the fiber enthusiast. And we've shown patterns by her before. And so this one is called Barky Par. I think that's what it's called. Barky right? Par Beanie. Barky Parbini. I have a really hard time saying that. I don't know what's wrong with me, but if you're, um, you know, like 80s, 90s kids, you may remember that there was a song called Wind, called Wind, Wind of Change by Scorpions that um, has a reference to Gorky Park, and that's what I keep saying. I can't <laughs> help it. it. When I say Barky Par, that's what I think of, so it's what comes into my head, but um, apparently that's a golf reference. I don't know anything about golf, except... And I know what par means. That's the only thing I mean. I, don't. I know. Um, well, I know it's a golf term. I, I, now that she said that, and then I'm going to tell you what it means. I'll say, I don't know what it means. I know it is a term that relates to um, 
golf. I believe it means what you're supposed the score you're supposed to get. Like if you're under par, or over par, I don't know. My dad was a golf fan. I was never a golf fan. My kids like to go play uh, miniature Mini golf, golf and do like the driving range stuff, but no. Um, uh, I was not a fan of driving range. No, but I think this is beautiful. I can see this. I really want to see this in like a gray, a red, and a white. Or a black, a white, and a gray. I was going to do red, white, and blue, but I decided to do black, red, and blue. I would love to see it with the surface crochet with black, white, and gray. That would be so pretty. Or the black, the burgundy, and the red. Is that what it is when it's the traditional buffalo plaid yep. colors? So, just super, super cute. I really like it a lot. And now we have two hats, two more hats to go for Bumblebee's Mountain Outreach, thanks to Spring and some new patterns. And um, like we've said before, she has lots of patterns. If you, the whole premise behind all that buzz was to share some different hat patterns because previously we just did the basic beanie that we've told you our recipe for and how we do it. Excuse me. But I've had several people who would message and say or comment and say, hey, can you tell us some of your favorite patterns and things like that? And honestly, I couldn't because I hadn't done a whole lot of different patterns other than the basic that like over the past two years, I've shared the ones we've done. So the ones that I've done, we've shared, but there weren't a whole lot of them. It was basically just the basic hat pattern. So we decided this year we would try something new and give you some new benefits of seeing what a pattern looks like when it's worked up and you know the the pros and cons of the pattern and um so that's what we've done and we love this one and it's it's crocheted but she has knitting patterns too for hats and for anything you can imagine and she has crochet patterns for anything you can imagine so go over and check out spring the fiber enthusiast i'll link her channel down below and she has playlists for things so you if you're looking for something specific you can go over there and say oh I need this and look through her playlist. I just finished um, a shawl for Bumblebee's Mountain Out Outreach using one of her patterns. It's called You're the Inspiration, and it had a really pretty edge and border on it and super simple, easy. So this is the Barky Par Beanie. I can't say it fast. I'm sorry. I, can't. I stumbled over words today. With and without the surface crochet. So you can see which way you want to do it. If you just want a basic beanie, there you go. She has a beautiful basic beanie. I love the black, the way it comes here when you're working around the stitches. And if you want it with the surface crochet, there's the way it's supposed to be. But, you know, user error. So, unless I talk Kristen into putting the surface crochet on mine. She's shaking her head. <laughs> I like she said crochet, that, but not that much. She said the same thing about my sun bunny, and she crocheted it together for me. so Or sewed it together. So we shall see. Anyway, go over and check out Spring and see if there's a hat pattern there that you like and let us know if you use one and tell, tell her we sent you over there and subscribe if you haven't subscribed and go check out what she's doing. And don't forget to be kind because you don't know Mills' journey. Bye. Bye.